Pakistan terror raises its ugly head once again. Terrorists have shot dead two non-local laborers in Kulgam district of Jammu and Kashmir. As per reports that are coming in, unknown gunmen barged into the house of migrant laborers from Bihar in Kulgam and fired upon them. Two migrant laborers died, one is injured, rattled by the peace in Jammu and Kashmir. Pakistan back terror terrorists in the last two weeks have killed 11 civilians in the valley. In the wake of these attacks, police have also launched a massive crackdown, detain about 900 people across the Union territory for alleged links with terrorists. Look, this is a Durvagapur, Kairanapur, and we have a lot of people who have been in the past, and we have a lot of people who have been in the past, and we have a lot of people who have been in the past, and we have a lot of people who have been in the past, उन्हें जिस प्रकार से उनकी हत्याएं की जा रही है दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है और इसमें अपने बिहार के भी अपने नागरिक हैं दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण स्थिति है इसकी तो हम सब निंदा करते हैं लेकिन केंद्र सरकार और जो राज्य सरकार है वो आवश्यक कदम उठा रही है और उम्मीद करते हैं कि इस तरह के हत्याओं का दौर निश्चित तौर पर बंद होना चाहिए जो भी आतंकवादियों के खिलाफ कड़ी कार्रवाई हो सेना पुलिस तथा हमारे पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेस के बहादुर जवानों ने कश्मीर घाटी में ताबड़तोड़ ऑपरेशन करके आतंकवादियों की कमर तोड़ के रखी है और बोखलाहट में आके डेस्पिरेशन और फ्रस्ट्रेशन में आके आतंकवादियों ने यह जो जघन्य अपराध कश्मीर के अंदर फिर से किया है इसकी भारी कीमत इन पाकिस्तानी दुर्रांत आतंकवादियों को चुकानी पड़ेगी कश्मीर के अंदर स्थितियां भयावह हो गई हैं और भयानक स्थिति बन चुकी है ऐसा लग रहा है कि जैसे युद्ध जैसी स्थिति कश्मीर के अंदर उत्पन्न हो गई है और राज्य सरकार जो है वो मूल दर्शक बनकर देख रही है राज्य सरकार का पूरी तरह फेल होना हम सरकार से अपील करते हैं कि सरकार जल्द से जल्द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर सिन्हा साहब को पद मुक्त करे क्योंकि वो असफल साबित हुए हैं अपरिवासियों की सुरक्षा के लिए कमल जीत संधु इज नाउ जॉइनिंग अस लाइव फॉर द वेरी लेटेस्ट ऑन दिस कमल जीत वी हैव सीन अ होम मिनिस्ट्री स्टैंड हाउ डू दे रिजोल्व दिस issue where is the plausible solution what are they planning to do to ensure there is peace back in the valley see this is obviously a major cause of concern and remember the tactics of terrorists keep changing whether it's targeting minorities whether it's targeting civilians and here now they're targeting non migrants so what we've been told is uh, that this is obviously uh, one of the attempts to spread terror that is why they are choosing soft targets uh, now what is important is uh, despite several measures being put on ground there is obviously a lot more happening and that is why several questions are being raised regarding the security grid uh, the strategy and what now needs to be done now several top officers including that of ib raw ni all of them were rushed to jammu and kashmir uh, they had been camping there uh, we believe uh, tapan beka one of the senior counter insurgency chiefs in ib has been camping there so all this has been part of that particular strategy but on ground what we see is that there is little change what we saw was multiple encounters take place they said we have identified all those who have been behind this uh, but the fact remains that there are up to a lakh migrant labor at least more than 50000 which have been told to us by security forces now can they provide security to all and on these this the soft targets so all this is part of a, a strategy of the terror organizations uh, to ensure that they go after those people who are without guns uh, are harmless and have yes. been there for a number of years and this is obviously a a, a time where panic right. may start setting in especially in these uh, migrants who may want to rush back now the other part is right uh, kamal ji i'm coming back to you uh, on that other part stay with us terrorism in kashmir has now claimed 11 lives in the last 15 days on 2nd of october majid gorhi was shot from point blank range in srinagar the same day mohammad shafidar was stabbed and shot dead in srinagar on 5th october three more civilians were shot dead in kashmir prominent chemist makhanlal bindru a kashmiri pandit was shot dead 
Virendra Paswan, a migrant from Bihar, was also shot dead in Srinagar. Meanwhile, in Bandipora, the president of local cab association, Mohammed Shafidar, was shot dead. Two days later, a principal and a teacher were killed in a government school in Srinagar. Satinder Kaur and Deepak Chand were slain in, right in front of their peers. On 16th of October, Arbind Kumar Sa, a migrant from Bihar, was shot dead in Srinagar. The same day, Sagir Ahmed was shot dead in Pulwama. And today, Kulgam district saw the brutal killing of two migrants from Bihar. Baja Reshi Dev and Joginder Reshi Dev were shot dead. Breaking news coming in, cutting straight across to it.